Hey everybody, welcome to In the Closet. Wow, you seem so excited. We're just hanging here. That We're going to talk about stuff. That was the most mundane opening. I'm being I'm... very, P P what is it, PBR? No. No. Public Broadcasting Radio. What is, is it that? PBR? Or is PBR? It... That's a... <laughs> or is that something you drink or eat? <laughs> That's a beer. Is That's it? true. <laughs> Pass Blue Ribbon. Oh my gosh. NPR. Not, wait, is NPR. It, is it? It's NPR. I don't now I'm excited. You are. You. Were I was just, just rolling into that with a little less like excitement. I'm, I'm building it up. Like you were getting ready to announce like a a, a golf tournament. Hey everybody. Right. Tiger S approaches the ball. So just so blah. Is a nine iron. Oh my gosh. Wait it's, a second. You, he's going back to his bag. Looks like he's going to get his pitching wedge out. Oh, my gosh. No. We stop right now. <laughs> okay. It's probably all the extra sugar you've had this week. You know what I'm saying? No. I caught you. Runyon, I caught you. Dang it. I got to tell this story. Let me tell this story. Okay? Yeah. All right. So, y'all listen. CVS. You, have a, you know you have a card. A CVS card. A discount card. Right? Well, we never carry our cards. The things on our keychain fell off, so we just use our phone number, and it's under my phone number. Even if we used our keychain, you're still going to need an electronic receipt. That's how I it's was, set up. I was getting there. Just let me tell the story. You pipe down. All right. Pipe down. I'll tap on you when you can talk. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> anyway, so, and then, you know, you get it, they, and they email you a receipt now. You have the option to get an email receipt or a printed out. Of course, I email because... I don't want to be well, bogged CBS, down with Well, CBS, the only time receipts. I get the receipts from CBS, the paper, is when it's burning wood season. Like, because they're great for fire Good starting. Good point. Because they're up. like, they're, they're like forever. They print out and you're like, my gosh, this thing's like yeah. eight foot tall. And they, they give you these coupons on the bottom of the receipt that are worthless. And I, why don't I, anyway, that's, I'm off topic. So I say, yes, e, uh, you know, I, we always say email a receipt, whatever. Right. So I'm checking my email, which I hardly ever do, but I'm, I'm expecting some emails this week. So I, I checked my email quite frequently. So I open up my email and I see a CVS receipt and I'm like, I don't, I didn't go to CVS. So I kind of like panicked for a second. Like, did somebody like steal? Like, I don't know why I thought like fraud right away. I don't know why, but I knew I didn't go to CVS. CVS is within walking distance of my office. But you're not... I understand, but I didn't thank you. Yeah. Cool. I, again, I'm Conti telling you. Continue again, with your story. Did I tap you? I, I didn't tap any not tap. Not yet, you. but okay. you want to. So stop. Because you want to touch Would this. Would you stop talking? I'm Let me tell the I'm story. I'm going to try my You're best. You're trying to avoid it because I busted you. <laughs> so anyway, I open my email and I see a receipt. I panic. I, I was like, what's this receipt? And I open the receipt and I see the first thing on the receipt was like, Nestle Toll House chocolate chip ice cream sandwich or something like that. And I was like, weird. Then the second thing it's pretty disappointing, was a, honestly. Was a polar ice seltzer water grapefruit. I got that I, sandwich for somebody in Jeffrey, my office. Are you talking? <laughs> it's not your turn. <laughs> so I knew it was Jeff because nobody else in this family drinks grapefruit flavored stuff because it's disgusting. Oh, it's delicious. And I knew it was him. So I, I, I took a screenshot of this receipt and I, 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 I mean, I texted to him and I, and I said busted. So he, he walked over cause it's across the thing and got, and I, now listen, I don't care what you eat. You know, I don't care what you eat. It was just the, the pure hilarity of it. Like ice cream sandwich in a water. I don't know. It just struck me funny. Yeah, but I feel it, it's, we live in this house of like, we're both on these fitness goals and I have you hold me accountable, but then I like I'm not as disciplined as you, and I have weak moments, and I'm kind of a stress eater. Like like when I'm having stressful days, I'm thinking, "Dag gone it, some ice cream would make everything okay." Yeah, well, like I, just the taste of that ice cream with maybe a little cookie dough in it. Is that what you had? To, is that what you had today? Because I think you revisited CVS and got some ice cream, didn't you? Uh. Yeah, that's a confession that I made. But the funny thing about that is it's Friday, so I was like, okay, it's cheat day. Sure. Right? So I'm like, I'm going to go over and I'm going to see if I can give me a treat. Well, they they CVS has um, Ben & Jerry's ice cream, and 
they have the chocolate chip is delicious. It's got the chocolate chunks in it, like it's got the chocolate cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, but it's also got these chocolate chunks that are perfect. Like they they crumble the right way. Like it, it's gushy. It's like <laughs> soft. You just said gushy. Soft and it's delicious. And the cookie dough. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. And so I get up to the counter, and she goes. Do you have a CDS card? And immediately I start to panic. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and she's like, okay. I'm like, no, I do not have a CDS card. And she's like, do you want to register for one? And I'm like, I'm going to be back for ice cream. So yeah. yes, yes. Um, I don't want to be harassed by my wife. <laughs> so yes. And she's, you know, she took my name and my number and, and everything is safe. I didn't even give her an email. I said no email. No email receipts. No email. Just keep the receipt. <laughs> no email. Nothing. Like God. And so sweets, especially ice cream, they're my side piece. <laughs> they're like my. I feel like I'm cheating. Like if she finds out about this, that I'm eating this. Well. Like that, I love this so much. You, you. You make me sound like I'm some sort of, like, tyrant, and I'm not. You ask me to hold you accountable. Listen to this. No, wait. Listen to this one. So, okay, yesterday was ice cream sandwiches. Mm -hmm. This morning, I wake up. I always wake up first. And Jeff sleepwalks a lot, which maybe that's another podcast, because I have some great stories if you all want to hear it. Ooh, sleepwalking. That would be good. Listen. I saw your phone in the bathroom. I don't know if I told you oh, that. Oh, man, I always know I had too much wine when my phone is, like, in a weird place. Well, it was just on the bathroom counter, so I took it. And as I'm approaching your phone, I see a bowl with a spoon in it. And I'm like, okay. And I get closer, and there's milk in it. So Runyon had him a little snacky snack last night of some cereal. So I had to snap that to him, and I was like, busted again. It was late. I At don't really remember it. At least clean up your it. dishes. Well, you? I, I really, I honestly, I contemplated taking my bowl downstairs and putting it in the dishwasher. I would have never known. And I was like, she'll never know. She'll never know. Oh, and then I'll I was ne- like, let's set it over by your sink. She'll never notice. You know how you, your your reasoning is way off yeah, when you've had a little off. bit to drink? I was like, just put it on your side where your sink stuff is. She'll never notice. Like, put your bag on the other side. Like, set it up there. No. Her gym bag. And she she's not going to, she's going to be, it's in the morning. It's going to be crazy. Can I? She's not gonna. She's not gonna even notice the bowl, and you just put it up in the morning. Dude, you could have at least like poured the milk out and washed it down the sink, and then like. Look, it was midnight, and I the Browns won. They hadn't won in like ten years. So you had a celebratory. Was, and I'm not a Browns fan by cereal. any means. I don't hate them, but I don't like them. I mean, I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. I don't like them, but I liked seeing them win, and I really like watching their quarterback. He was he was very flashy. He uh he came in and he. He had some swagger. But anyway, so I just was like, I'm going to have another drink to celebrate. A team well, winning that I don't even care if they win. And I'm going to watch. What did I watch? I think I was watching the new season of Ozark, which really isn't something you want to try to stay awake to because it's, it's too much to think about. But it's really good, Jason Bateman. Uh-huh. It's pretty good stuff. Well, this isn't the only time you've done stuff like this. There has been so many times. Mm. And again, I'm not a tyrant. You ask me to hold you accountable, so let's it's let's a tough re- job. let's it is let's rewind a few nights prior, and I was going to bed because I go to bed before I go to bed before Jeff does, and I notice like I'm laying in bed and I <laughs> and, and he, there's a couch in our room and I can see him sitting on the couch and every like ten seconds he looks over at me and looks back, and then ten seconds will go by and he looks over at me in the bed and then looks back. And finally, I was like, dude, what do you keep looking at me for? You're creeping me out. Stop it. And he was like, oh, I don't know. And I, like, played it off. So then I kind (laughs) of act like I'm asleep to see what the hell he's going to do. And he gets up and he starts creeping towards the door. And I'm like, where are you going? And he popped up. He goes, I'm going to get some water. (laughs) I said, no, you're not. I said, that's bull crap. And he said, no, I'm going to get some water. I get up out of the bed and I walk over to his side of the table. He has a full water there. I'm like, you're not going to get some water. I'm going to go get what I know you're going after. I went downstairs. I got the Oreos. I came Double back upstairs. Stuffed. He says, that's what he was going for. He was going for the Oreos and he kept looking over at me to see if I was asleep yet. It is hilarious. He's come to bed with Pop-Tart breath. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just cute how you try to like sneak around like I care. Like I don't care. If you want to eat that stuff, eat that stuff. But it's just Yeah, hilarious. but there's a lot of guys out there that like they get it, their thrill sneaking around like 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 uh texting with other girls yeah. or like with uh escorts or like sex workers or you know So 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 food is your For side me, piece? for me it's like I get the thrill of sneaking around with food. You know what I mean? Right. And I get a really good thrill out of it when I eat it. It like it like gives me like a happiness. So food is, your, is like your mistress. I do re- regret it a lot like those guys texting those girls. I'm sure they regret it after they yeah. Satisfy themselves, so right. to speak. You know, you, you yeah. wake up, you're like, man, why did I eat a sleeve of Oreos at midnight? <laughs> why? Hey, was that your Milky Way wrapper in my car? Because you've been uh-uh. driving my car. I don't Jeffrey? eat Milky Ways. Was it a dark chocolate? Oh, one? that's right. You don't because they're too rich, you say. I don't like Milky. I'm not going to wait. I'm you're a right. cake and ice cream guy. No, you're right. You're I'm right. That's cake, brownies, right. ice cream. I don't like I don't like candy bars. I don't like candy. I don't want any of that crap. Oh, I gosh. want brownies. I want cookies. I want cake. I want ice cream. Well, you had all of that this week. And whipped cream? Ugh. You had all of that this week, Runyon. And then I we did. just went and ate pizza. But no, it that was just my funny story. I I thought it was hilarious that I caught you sneaking around with food. It's my side hoe. It's my side piece. I guess it is. And I, I'm going to take a break from her. Are you? I promise. Yeah. You're not going to go back to carnivore, though, right? I'm not going to go that hardcore, but I, I got to take a little break from her because she's bad for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's fun. It's a fun time when we're having it. Right. But it's and, just, there's a lot of regret and, and there. That's, and I was talking about in my video today, which you probably didn't watch. But anyway, I was talking about trigger foods and to avoid trigger foods. And you need to break up with any food that is a trigger food for you. So any food that you start to eat Dang. and you can't stop, right? You you have to divorce it. Like, it's no longer in your life, not even on cheat day. I need to divorce probably ice cream. But you know I don't what I'm want saying? To because, like, when I get a pint of it, when I go over across the street. You eat the whole thing. I sit down at my desk, and I'm like, I'm going to eat maybe a quarter of it, maybe half, then I'll eat the rest of it well, another day. But I always do this. Oh, there's only a little left in the bottom. No, I know. I and get I just it. eat it. But here's the thing. But that's it's, I don't really feel like that's a trigger food for you because you don't do it every single day. Yeah. Oh. Not every day, not every week. You do it more than just on cheat day? Sometimes. Runyon, yes, you divorce it. <laughs> Get rid of it. It's got me by the balls right now. I'm gonna I'm 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 in a downward spiral, but I'm gonna get out of it. I'm just <laughs> I'm in a downward spiral right now and I've been I've been weak and I've let it in. But I'm gonna get out of this spiral. I'm a Sunday. You need to go to Monday. A, you need to go to an IA meeting. Listen. Ice cream anonymous. I'm a believer in the whole gut thing now because when I went off, when I went on that carnivore diet, I didn't crave anything. Like I never crave. I never thought, oh, I want to have some ice cream. Oh, I want to have a cookie. That stuff could be around me. My gut was clean. It was pure. I got to introduce that stuff back in my life, and that's all I think about. I don't. I don't. I, I mean, I don't know that it's a gut thing because I think if you get rid of anything for a length of time, you're not going to crave it. I I haven't had. I haven't had sweets and desserts and cakes and cookies and stuff like that in almost six years. But it my gut, it's, I don't think it has anything to do with your gut. I think it just has to do with if you get ri- – you know what I'm saying? Like if you don't eat – I mean it's proven that you you're, you crave things through your gut. Like Oreos are proven to be addictive. I, I, I understand that, but I don't think it's a gut thing. I think it's just a craving thing. I think it's just a habit thing. I think it's just something – the more you eat it, the more you want it. That's how, that's how we are as – humans you know what i'm saying the more yeah. you eat something or the more you do something the more you want it when you there's take another it, like uh, when you take it out when you take it away from from you and out of your life for an extended period of time you're not going to crave it that's why i can make cinnamon rolls for the kids and i don't even want it, it hasn't it doesn't have anything to do with my gut it has to do that i haven't had it in six years so i don't even want it that's like the uh that's a that's a parallel with sex again because the more you do it the more you want that's it. true yeah that is very very true so that's what i'm saying but it has i don't I Women, mean, that is. I Guys mean, I, just want it, whether they're getting it or not. I, I just I just don't think it's a, necessarily a gut thing. I think it's just a, it's something else the carnivore diet people want to attribute and want to say is It was positive. not carnivore. It's not, nothing to do with carnivore. You just said that. Well, I said when I was on carnivore. Mm-hmm. It's just cleaning up your gut, period. Whether yeah, but I don't think that that has to do with anything. Well, you proved my point because you said you got it out of your gut and you don't crave anything. No, anymore. you got it out of your... you're done. Like, you, it's gone. 
Okay. So your gut's clean now. No, I don't think it's that. But Welcome anyway. to my world. You you do you, and you believe what you want. That is totally fine. Hey, I'm just going on my experiences. You you didn't crave it because you weren't eating it. I know that's what I just said. But it had, doesn't have to do with your gut being clean. It does gut biome. Oh my gosh! Google it. You are so far into that. You Google are like it. in the little carnivore cult. I'm not in a carnivore. It's not carnivore. It's your gut biome. It has nothing to do with carnivore other than cleaning up your diet. How did you, you learn about? Diet. How did you learn about this gut biome? It, it's like a place. What are you talking about? A gut biome is, it's, it's, it Google it. I, I know what it, right, let's move on. I know what it is, but it doesn't, okay, let's just move on. Because I, because you have your mind made up, so I, we're good. We're good. We're good. But your gut is nasty right now. <laughs> <laughs> that hoe, that hoe messed me up. Hoe's got me twisted up. You, you got diseases. Mm, she got me in some bad habits. Oh, my gosh. Wow, Runyon. Okay, so I have something else that I need to talk about. I got to get the, I got to figure this out. Oh, boy. Does okay. that have to do with me? No, you're off the hook. Woo! All you're, right, I'm good. You're, you're, you're off the hook for now until we see what you eat later okay. when you're sleepwalking. Anyway, so you know soap, like the hand soap dispensers, like soft soap that you yeah, buy at that Walmart. you were talking to the other day in our bathroom. <laughs> that you were holding up in the air and talking to it and twisting it around in different ways. And I'm like, what the hell? She's lost her freaking mind. Like, she's finally dropped some weights on her head or something. Something's wrong. Here's my problem. Like, looking underneath it. <laughs> like, I'm like, all right. Because I can't figure out why it is 2018 why can we not make a i want to call it a straw it's not really a straw but it's it's the it's the piece of plastic that looks like a straw that attaches from the pump to the bottom of the soap so why, it's not long enough so you get down to the bottom of the soap where there's like a half inch left it there's still some good soap in there there's still a good 20 pumps out of it 20 i don't know a lot but you can't get the soap because they don't make the freaking tube well, long let's enough. Let's back it up because it is a straw. You like that. You'd like that. I would like that. Anyway. But it is it's a straw. What makes a straw? Do you have to drink out do you have to literally drink out of a straw for it to be a straw? If it's if you're not drinking out of it, is it technically something else? But it's not a straw. Like a tube. It's a straw. Okay. It's a straw. But it's not it's long. It's just enough. a soap straw. Okay. For for your hands to drink out of. <laughs> It's a soap straw, but they don't make it long enough in the soap. They also don't make it long enough in some of the cleaning spray bottles. And we are in 2018. There has got to be a way to get all of the soap. Now, I know you can add water, and then you can get some more soap out of it to save money and to get that last soap out. I want some soap that has a straw long enough to the bottom so you can get every bit of soap you paid for. Ooh, you know what? I wonder if, because we wouldn't know this, I wonder if the name brand soaps have the right straws in it. Maybe that's the difference between generic and name brand. Ooh. Maybe we buy generic and they chip us on the straws, <gasps> and but the regular brand has good straws. I'll bust that theory up. If that's true, I will buy a name brand, and then I will take the straw from the name brand. And keep it. And keep it. Oh, and put that's it what I'm talking about. In the generic soap. Yes. We're going to buy... Name brand soap. Like, what's a name brand? Like, Dial? I guess. Do they make it like a hand soap? I don't know soap? if they make a hand pump soap. I think they do. That your hands can drink out of. That could be a game, a brand game. But you can just look at it while you're in the store. You don't have to waste your money on it if the straw's short. True. But what if we, what if, we, you know what we could do? Let's go to the store. Let's get out all the soap brands. Let's set them down somewhere in the store like we can go in a back corner. Let's take them out and let's see if some of the straws we can switch out. Because the size of the bottles will be different. Right. Yeah, so if you have like a generic one, it's just a little bit littler. Right. Than the, than the name brand one, you can just switch them straws out. We should do it. And if one's too long, oh well, we'll snip it when we get home. That's just, that's it. Or, do you think it would work if we took a regular drinking straw, No. put it in the soap and cut it? No. Why? Because it's too big. I just said cut it. Cut it. 
Like it's too wide. It's too. It's too. It's too girthy. Is, I have straws right here, actually. They're, I know you do, but they're too girthy. Is it weird that I have straws right by our podcast? Because there's I like a to, lot of weird things like when it comes to, to you. They are not too girthy. No, nah, that's too. I'm gir- gonna that go get will the not. Can be, plus, it's too flimsy. They're they're stiff little you straws. You want to be flimsy that way? It'll get no, because it's not. It's not the 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 soap is thicker. And you know what? We're not supposed to be using antibacterial soap. I heard that the other day. You don't use it. I, I don't get there's, antibacterial things. There's like a thing. film on us that no, we need. No, I know. Need. I know. I, I agree with you. But And here's another theory that you have that's bull crap. Oh, boy. I'm calling bull crap right now when it comes uh-huh. to washing hands. Jeffrey. No, no. I've Ryan, changed my mind no, on this. Oh, oh, now you suddenly changed your mind. Well, he, it's because no, you Googled I, I, it no, and listen, Google said that I was wrong. You are wrong <laughs> because Jeff said that your hands are just as clean washing your hands with soap and cold water as they are washing them with soap and hot water. I still think if you use good soap, they're going to be clean. They'll be clean. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that they're not, it's not better off than not washing your hands. You know what I'm saying? Like if you only have soap and cold water, still go ahead and wash them. But if you have hot water available, you should use hot water. Actually, Google said that to get your hands totally clean, our hands couldn't stand the hot enough water that you would need to get them super clean. That's what changed your mind. Yeah, but... Because the water couldn't be hot enough to actually get your hands clean the way... But the hot water... I think sometimes Google likes to mess with this. The hot stuff. water gets that residue off that you're talking about. I'll burn my hands he and sue to, Google. He tries, he tries to wash dishes in freaking cold water. That's because I want to save the hot water for the showers. We got a whole slew of kids, and they take like 16-hour showers. That's very true. And my water bill is? I don't want to know. That's I why you don't want to know bills. either. And another thing about the water. Just forget the water. No, Let's I... Just, I don't, that's all I got on water? Not me. I have two more things. <laughs> oh, bring it. Maybe we're on the same train. Okay, so another gross thing about water. There's two more gross things about water. Okay, now most of us have, a lot of us have dishwashers. If you don't, I'm sorry, I lived in a house without a dishwasher too, and it sucks to have to do your dishes. Yeah. Why? It's so disgusting when people fill their sink up. They use the stopper for the sink. And they let it put soak. the water in there. No, they and they do the dishes. They wash, they put all the dishes in there and they wash them, and the water gets dirty. And the dishes are all in there, even though you rinse them off. That makes me sick. So yeah, I, that's not, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. When I do dishes, I don't let the water fill up. I just put soap on the rag, wash the dishes, and then rinse it off. Dry it off, yeah. A. B. If you think about it, taking a bath is disgusting. I was thinking that just now because you were saying there about dishes, and I was thinking, well, what about our human bodies when we dip, that's it, disgusting. In, dip it in a tub so, of water and we soap it up and we right. scrub all our stuff off and yeah, we're sitting in there in like a... a soup of nastiness it, if like that's why I, skin and floating dirt but here's the thing i get a bath like i mean i understand i don't get a bath i don't usually bathe i shower but i understand the theory behind a bath it's relaxing we it's have nice. a nice jacuzzi tub so we Ooh, can put the yeah. bubbles on like i get it but then i have to shower because i do the same thing i get out and i jump in the shower yes, for a minute yeah i feel like i'm still dirty because and then I if just it's a romantic situation dirt. we shower before using the jacuzzi tub that's a rule i think there's a sign out there before getting freaky shower before get, there's a sign on our jacuzzi tub that says before getting freaky in the jacuzzi tub shower off please right i get it it's just kind of gross okay now we can move on we don't have to talk about water anymore wow i we, feel bossy we talked about i know it's one of those nights it could i'm be, always it could bossy. be fun i've been told i'm bossy yeah, you can be bossy, but this kind of goes with your personality, with the with your uh, with your profession, like what you do. You you have to be a little bossy. Yeah, but I've always been a little told bossy, that. a little bitchy. I've always been told that though. Maybe, well, you're you're a take charge kind of lady. I am. Like, I you like you want to get charge. stuff done. I like, I like you, to you're be like in you're you kind of want to be controlling, control things. I do. Like my food. No, and, take and... it back. <laughs> you asked me to. <laughs> I'm kidding because it's true. When I call her, when I call her off, when I say, "Hey, I'm not following any diet right now. I'm not worrying about it. I, yeah. I can eat pizza every night," and she doesn't say anything to me. Right. But it's just when I say, "Hey, I, here's my goals. Here's what I want to do," and I just watch me. Don't let me like kill myself on, like, 
ice cream and pizza and stuff like that. The kids, the kids don't even. The kids sometimes think that too because they'll be like, "Does mom know you're eating that?" You know. I what know. I mean? Sometimes they'll come down when you're asleep already, and Brooke will be like, "What you eating Oreos?" And I was like, "Yeah, because I'm a baller." Tell your mom I don't care. <laughs> And then she starts walking up to say, hey, well, what you doing? <laughs> she goes, don't worry, Dad. I'm not going to tell <laughs> Oh, my gosh. That's hysterical. Oh, well. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it's really not like that. It's just when I ask you to be hold me accountable, I do. Well, I do what I'm, you know, I'm a take charge kind of person. Oh, you know what else I almost did the other day talking about being bossy and taking charge? What? Check this out. Okay, so if you're in a carpool line of any kind, you are going to feel me right now, I think. Because carpool lines to pick up your kids from school suck. Like, you don't have to deal with it very much, but I do. So I park down this side road, and I walk to get Nate, right? Okay, so the main road is always full of cars. By the time Nate and I get back to the car, get in the car to turn to leave, it's still packed with carpool people. Right. The car in front of me was wanting to go left. Nobody was letting the car out. I wanted to turn right. That lane was totally clear. Like, I could have gone around the car and it went right. Nobody. Why do people not let people out, especially when there's a traffic situation? They do that crap in the mornings, too, when I take Nate. It doesn't make sense. Like, if you're sitting there, just hold back a second and let the cars down the side road get out. We sat there for 10 minutes. I almost got out of my car and went and stopped traffic like I was a traffic control cop myself. What do you think people would have done? Like, if I just went out there in my freaking workout outfit, my, just stop. They would have just, you would have stopped traffic. They would have stopped and you would have got, the, they can't do anything. I mean, they're they're not going to pretty cool. They're not going to hit me, right? <clears throat> I mean, if they do, that's a good thing. Not because you'll die, but because you'll probably get seriously injured and we can get a settlement. That's that a would, horrible thing to say. That would help a lot with our kids. You're a very strong woman. You're you're athletic. You're in really good shape. So they you would recover. I actually I could put on a show. They could like barely have tapped me, and I'd fall down and like flail around on the floor like they they killed me. But that is kind of mean. <laughs> that's that's a mean thing. I would never do such a thing. No, you wouldn't. But anyway, I almost had to stop traffic because it just I feel like it's super rude. Like, let, where are you going anyway? You're sitting still. Like, why won't they let people out? I don't know. It's hard because we've talked about this in other podcasts about behavior in a vehicle and i can't judge because i'm turning to pretty much of a jerk off so when i'm in a vehicle you're that douchebag that won't let somebody out no, i let people out most of the time unless they look like somebody i wouldn't like that's so judgmental or they're in a certain kind of car oh runyon and then i'm like nah what kind of car like a super fancy car or a trashy car like wh- which way are you going um, with that because you could go two different ways it's sometimes it's a it's a prestigious vehicle right like you know a I mean? like a mercedes or a bmw something like or that. something like that yeah but if it's a really nice car i'm like that is bad bro come on get in here <laughs> like come on bro let's do this like a Maserati. i want to ride behind you yeah in traffic yeah okay well anyway i i'm just kidding the, the, i'm not judgmental like that i don't i don't care i'll let people out no matter what because I'm a gracious person. No, you are not. You are the most hateful driver I know. But I'm not. I'm not unfriendly to people unless they're unfriendly to me or unless they make me mad. I did eh. almost curse at somebody though in the car today with Brooke back in the back seat. I almost forgot she was there, and I almost that person was on the my side of the road. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Was, yeah. I, I was like, yeah. I was well, not cool. Because they gave me a look. That's, Don't look at me. You're on my side of the road. You're literally on my side of the road. I'm getting off the road to get out of your way, lady. And then she looks at me like, what are you doing in my universe? What are you doing on my road? And I'm like, I, I, I'm I, good now. I'm okay now. I'm, I'm done. Are you good? Yeah. Man, you got mad there. For I was minute, getting yeah. worked up. Well, that kind of stuff, like little things like that, set me off. It's me too. That's what I'm talking about. The carpool line. I could, I can get to the school in the afternoon and be in the best mood and be like, oh, happy, woo, you know. And then that kind of stuff happens where they won't let somebody out, and it makes me mad. That doesn't happen to me because you know what I do? I just pull out. I inch my way out. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I just get out there. You know what I mean? Because what are they going to do? Run into me? Now, I have Well, the you got to do that. But now, I'll say this because just so people know, I'm not just judging. Like, I'm not I'm not the greatest driver. I'm not saying I'm the greatest. 
I'm in that same turn that she was in. I've been in that lane too because it's easy to kind of get in that lane when you're turning. Yeah. Right there. But if somebody's coming, I like freak out and get out of the way. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm the ass in this situation. Right. I shouldn't have been on your side of the road. I'm sorry. But that woman looked at me like, why are you here? Why are you in this spot at this moment in time? Don't you know it's her world? Why are you in it? And you know what? She might be a wonderful person. She probably is. She might have been constipated. Oh, my gosh. She might have hemorrhoids. She might be rushing to get her sick dog from the vet. I don't know. But still, it made me angry. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Thanks. That means a lot. One more thing we just talked about in the car. Why are you rubbing your head like I'm driving you crazy? That's not what this is about. I'm not rubbing my head that way. You should see. You look annoyed with me. I'm not not annoyed (laughs) with you. It's not you. It's me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we talked about this just a minute ago. You know what I'm getting ready to say? Uh-uh. What's up with these new light bulbs? I hate them. Oh, my gosh. They're freaking, they're the light bulbs of the future. I don't like the future. <laughs> I don't like them. They're too white. They're too bright. There's no softness. There's no warmness. I think a lot of people would argue s- that with you, that they're brighter. Dark. That they're that they're that, that they are not always warmer, better. That no, they're always, that they're no, warmer, no, and they're no. softer. I think soft no. is how you would describe no. that light. A soft light bulb is look up. That's a yellow. It's like somebody pissed in the <laughs> light bulb and then stained it and plugged it in. <laughs> no, it's, it's yellowish. Not. You don't know until you put like the real like new light bulbs in. You're like, wow, that's white light. It's almost that's not no, piss light. It's like it's almost like blue light. They're, the only reason I don't buy them. A lot of them is because they're freaking expensive. I know, but it, it just, it, there's nothing inviting with them. It's not like, there's not a soft glow. It's like this bright, stark, you're getting ready to have surgery light. But they, like it's super, like really good light. Because when you have surgery, you want really good light, right? Dude, is I'm, that your argument? Runyon, I'm not arguing the fact that it's good, that it's bright. And what, I, you know what I, makes it, you know what makes it attractive? The same Nothing. thing in any light, because if it's dark and you turn it on, you can see. I hate you right now. I know <laughs> that, Jeffrey. Somebody's going to agree with me. It's I, not as I'm sure, because there's lots of people out there that hate change. It's not change that I hate about the lights. <laughs> it's, the, it's the bright, like, oh my gosh. I know, it's a lot of memories like in, the, those li- like the, in this light. You've had so many memories growing up, and you're thinking, this is going to be gone forever. And those memories will never be the same because you can't see the light in the pictures. Jeff. And the only way you can feel good about those memories is to sit here in this yellow pissy light. This isn't yellow pissy light. This is nice All those nice great light. memories I had as a child and the times that me and Jeff hooked up in the li- with the lights on, it wasn't in that bright light. It was in this light. No, because that bright light reminds me of like when I'm in the dentist chair, they turn the light on to see my mouth. That's how bright it is. It is bright. Or or when your legs are up in the stirrups, ladies, you know what I mean? You know, that big, that big, that big the weird, floodlight. that big weird flashlight they put up in there. In That's, there? Not in there. Oh, wow. I was going to go into a whole other topic. I was like, I got to see this. No, but. Because your doctor's doing something wrong. <laughs> Y'all got something going on. It's a little different. He's like, well, let's try this one. Yeah. Tell me how this feels. All right, I'm done. I just don't like the new light bulbs. That's all I've got. (laughs) Okay. All right, are we done? We are done. All right. Good night. (laughs)